So, talking about sounding like an idiot and feeling like an idiot, I'm currently on a fast at the moment. I'm going to be eating again sometime in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to be going to the gym in about six or so hours, right? So I'm going to be up for a very, very long time. And then I'm going to go to the gym and then I'm going to go straight to work, do some work, sleep, wake up again, do some more and then go to that little cycle that I do. But I just saw this picture of Buster Rhymes on the shade bar. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I working out? Instead of worrying about fucking working out and being that workout idiot, what I should be doing is taking a bit of a Zempic. Because look at how good Buster Rhymes looks, right? Because we all know Buster Rhymes is like our male Oprah. He's been yo-yoing up and down in his weight for a long time. He gets really swole, then he gets really fat, then he gets really ripped, then he gets really swole, then he gets really fat, then he gets really ripped. And, you know, he's a bit of a party boy. He's kind of like AD in that respect, right? AD from um, Ace Boys and Community and shit, right? Who enjoys going out. They, they kind of, you know, disrespectfully um, call him a party crip because of his tendency to go out with OT Genesis and be busting the place up and doing what he's doing. And you could tell with someone like an AD, a lot of his weight is a lot of that stuff, right? Party weight. Like you're going to the club, you're drinking, flipping tequila on the way home, you're hungry. So you're driving through Chick-fil-A. So you get that kind of weird party boy weight, right? Where you might be able to fit into a pair of 34s or 36s, but your belly's always sticking out a t-shirt, right? Or it's or your jean jacket doesn't zip up properly or doesn't button up properly. But you don't look that fat. You're kind of like chubby fat, chubby fat skinny type of thing. And Buster Rhymes always had that shape. Now Buster Rhymes in this picture that I'm showing you right now, if you don't see the picture and you just listen to the audio, I do implore you to go to the Shade Bar and check it out because it says US rapper Buster Rhymes shows off his dramatic weight loss in recent pictures. Legitimately, in this picture, Buster Rhymes, body-wise, if you didn't see his head, you'd think that was Meek Mill. This is a very Meek Mill type of fit. If you didn't see his head, you'd think that was Meek Mill. And if you know anything about Meek Mill, you know that he always looks very, for lack of a better term, sickly thin. I'm sure most of it has to do with probably he probably has like IBS or Crohn's or something because he's always very, very skinny looking or maybe it's a drugs. I don't really know. But basically, Buster Rhymes basically looks the same build as Meek Mill right now. And it's obviously because of a Zempic, because on the left hand side, we have what Buster usually looks like when he's out in a club. And then on the right hand side is when he was trying to get swole and get kind of ripped up. He was obviously taking, you know, protein, you know, lots of protein, probably some steroids. He's got that swollenness going on. And if anything, anyway, his abs on the picture, they kind of look a little bit like, they kind of look a little bit etched on. I'm not going to lie. They, they kind of look like Drakeified. They kind of look Drake-ish. But in the middle there, you see him legitimately skinny, legitimately slim. And it's making me wonder, am I wasting my time going to the gym? Should I just like, because I found somebody actually. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before on Taz, but I think I've mentioned on a random show that I did find somebody on some darknet place somewhere that I'm not going to disclose. And they were selling, not the, not the, not the liquid, but the powder that you can turn into a liquid. I Googled it and stuff and there's ways to do it. You can basically turn whatever the powder is into liquid. You put that into a syringe and then bop. It's kind of looking like I'm doing heroin, but it's not. So I'm wondering, should I actually purchase that powder that's like 50 pounds or something, turn that shit into some dust and then squeeze it into my stomach and then pop out looking like fucking, you know, looking like Meek Mill or looking like Buster Rhymes, right? Pop out looking like Lil Nas X. <laughs> that's what I might need to do because all this working out shit, all this dieting shit, all this fucking drinking water shit, right? It's fucking long, isn't it? Maybe just injecting yourself is the way to go. It really is. And the thing that's interesting about Zempic is that sooner rather than later, I have a feeling, they haven't done it already yet because, you know, they haven't. I'm not sure why, but I have a feeling they're going to figure out a way to put a Zempic in the pill. Once they figure out a way to put a Zempic in the pill, it's over. Because I think there might be some people out there who are a little bit scared because it's a, it's a jab. I think um, the official one, it comes this really cool, like stylish pen that almost looks like a pregnancy test, pregnancy test actually, the pen itself. Or it looks like a marker that you use to do graffiti on the wall. So I'm sure there's some people that are a little bit, you know, scared of needles and whatnot. So they won't do it now because of the prick. But once they figure out a way to synthesize, you know, whatever that concoction is in, in Ozempic into a pill, the amount of people that are going to be taking it is going to be crazy. It's already wild now because it's not widely available and mostly celebrities are doing it. It's, it's looking mad because you're seeing all your favorite celebrities that you've known to be fat cunts, you know, wake up one day and just turn into skinny minis. 
But the moment this shit hits the streets and they start selling it like fucking Adderall or they start selling it like Xanax or like, you know, any other pill. You know, remember, you remember when Xanax, I don't know if you guys, where you guys are based, but in London, when Xanax touched down in the streets of London, it took a lot of my friends' lives for a long period of time, like years. They got addicted to that Xanax so quickly. Some of them, it took their lives, unfortunately. We won't name the names, but if you know, you know. When Xanax hit the streets, people went wild for that shit in the UK. I can't imagine what happens when they synthesize the Ozempic powder and put it into pill form and people can just put it in the end of their tongue. One day they sleep, go to sleep, they're 46 waist. They wake up in the morning, they're 34. <laughs> it's going to be insane, bro. It's going to be insane, honestly. People don't know how crazy it's going to get when Ozempic touches the streets in pill form because, yo... There's so many people out there, like myself, who have good work ethnic, um, you know, who like to hustle, right? Who are out here flipping, you know, doing the God's work and trying their best to eat well when working out a bunch, running, doing whatever, the cardio, the lifting, right? Doing the damn business. And we're like, oh, it's so tiring. It's so long. It's so arduous. And there's some people out there, not even like me, like, I, I actually enjoy physical exercise. I think it's very... Um, important especially for a man to know how to move his body to be coordinated to be able to lift up heavy objects from the ground and put them somewhere else and carry bags in both hands without needing assistance and shit right and be able to you know put your your lady on your shoulder if her legs are fucking you know hurting or something or carry her on her back if her heels are broke you know those type of, like gentlemanly nice things but just in general to be of use you know be able to carry a pram up some stairs down some stairs all these things are super important in the man's life so i think it's important to work out just because of that but obviously a byproduct of working out is that you get to look good naked right you get to look good when you're fucking yeah you, know, you get to look at yourself in the mirror like a fucking american psycho and be pleased with what you see but there are some people out there who just want to look good in clothes that's the thing people don't realize there are some people out there who don't care about functional fitness they don't care about being able to look good in a bedroom all they care about is can i fit into my favorite jacket can I fit into this dress when I was in high school? Why high school? Because high school is the best memories I have of myself. I was popping. Everybody liked me. I was popular, blah, 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 blah. That's what people actually want. So once they synthesize this Ozempic shit into a pill, the streets will never be the same. All of your friends that you knew who used to call fat this, fat that, fat cow, fat Larry, fat Henry, fat Paula, fat Patricia, all these people, they will be no more will they be known as fat no more of these guys that used to call big guy they won't be they, they you you can't call them big guy anymore because they'll be skinny minis i predict that because these celebrities are tearing through ozempic like it's flipping cornflakes what's your comment here um baby that was empty getting y'all that was empty working wonders on those celebrities but they can't but they can't keep none in the pharmacy and of course there's a clear picture of look him he legit looks like Meek Mill. Oh my God, look at the picture. <gasps> oh my God. Is that how big he was? That's the thing about weight, isn't it? You never know how fat you are until you lose weight. Jesus Christ. Buster Rams was huge. Look at him now. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, bro. I get it. I get it. And so what? You might get... And that's the thing as well about the saggy face. I don't think it's that bad. I think some people are just giving extra. I think some people are getting Ozempic and are doing the most. They're not eating at all. They're going all the way in too crazy. I think you can do it in a good way, especially if you work out as well. You can do it and you won't get the droopy face and shit and you'll look perfectly okay. I saw somebody actually mention, I think I saw an article somewhere where they said another side effect, another unintended side effect of Ozempic isn't only just a droopy face it's something called ozempic personality or something and i don't know if that was a troll or something or whatever but i'm assuming that must have to do with people maybe getting some newfound of confidence <laughs> right people that have been fat their whole life suddenly get skinny and they realize oh shit being actually able to fit into regular clothes is actually pretty cool it gives you some weird sense of confidence and now suddenly you walk around like your nuts are fucking you know are made out of gold no one can tell you anything legitimately so that might be part of it. But yeah, look at that, bro. 
the before and after is just wild on a Zen pick. But yeah, when that touches the streets of the UK, it's going to be a wrap. And like I said, I'm I'm tempted to go and try this powder that I've been said might be able to work and synthesize that into some liquid and then get that shot up into my belly. And then I'm going to come through looking like Alton Mason next time you see me on this godforsaken stream. And I don't want anyone, I don't want anyone to say anything to me. I don't want a single person to have a word to say about me when I do pop out of the place just looking svelte, right? Looking like a fucking ruler. I don't want anyone to fucking say a word to me. Don't email me. Don't give me a message. DM. Leave me alone. Just say congratulations, okay? Just say congratulations when you see me. You see me step out. <laughs> like a coat hanger just say congratulations don't say oh my god i can see you know you're making a mistake and i don't want to hear your well i don't want to hear your well-intended advices okay no no advices let me be skinny okay cool bless